He was knighted by Prince Charles for his role as finance secretary, guiding Hong Kong's money reserves through the last two years as a British colony. His popularity saw him elected chief executive in 2005. He served two terms in the top job, but it was his conduct between 2010 and 2012 that led to his fall from grace. The once popular civil servant became the focus of a three-year investigation by the Independent Commission Against Corruption. It found he accepted favours from tycoons while in the top job. In April this year, he was found guilty of misconduct and was sentenced to 20 months behind bars. The verdict made him the highest ranking public servant in Hong Kong to be jailed. But the jury failed to reach a verdict on one bribery charge, forcing a retrial. Last month, the 73-year-old returned to court. He was accused of accepting half a million dollars from a majority shareholder in a TV company to pay for the renovation of his penthouse apartment. He later granted a licence to the broadcaster, triggering accusations he was using his position for personal gain. The former chief executive pleaded not guilty to the charge. A hung verdict means he avoids conviction for now, with the judge yet to declare if there'll be a retrial. Donald Chung isn't the only former Hong Kong leader facing accusations of financial impropriety. The former chief executive, C.Y. Lung, is also accused of accepting illegal payments from an Australian company. That investigation is still underway, but a conviction for Chung could have ramped up the pressure for C.Y. Lung to also face court. Sarah Clark, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.